Hey y'all, it's Lindsay and welcome back to Organically Designed. If you like to do things on a budget, I'm talking little gift baskets, gift bags, organizing is like my number one thing and cleaning. This is the channel for you so make sure that you hit that subscribe button below and if you like what you see today make sure you hit that thumbs up. Today I am showing the completion of some travel slash moving kits that I am making for my sister and her family. Um, and the things that I'm going to show you are all things that I have gotten from the Dollar Tree. And um, there's a couple things that I'll, really just one thing, maybe two, that I'm not going to be getting from the Dollar Tree that I'm adding on to this. But this is what I have so far. So um, it's, it's going to be kind of like categorized. So the main thing that I did was I made some themed kits for my niece and nephew. Um, they're going to be traveling from where we live in North Carolina all the way up north to their new state. Um, no reason to put all their information out there so I'm not going to say exactly where they're moving to but it will be a good little drive for them. And I wanted to kind of like put together something that would be like a busy bag that if you get bored with one thing you can grab the next. So my nephew is five and my niece just turned nine. So um, just keeping them occupied to help mom and dad's sanity. So that's what all this is about. So, okay, so all that we are going to get into this little multi-part haul because I went to multiple stores to get these things. So probably, I mean, really wasn't that bad. Maybe three or four altogether that I went to to get everything that I wanted just because I was like, oh, I saw that here. Oh, I saw that there. But um, anyway, I'm also kind of like decorating for some 4th of July stuff right now. Um, I'm kind of late on the train because I don't really do much for Memorial Day. But I'm slowly like switching my signs out and my bin, like my little baskets out. So I have like some new greenery back here and a blue and white candle. And I got that from Dollar Tree today actually. And it is the, let's see, the wood, sage, and sea salt. And it smells really good initially, um, but it doesn't throw really well. So this would probably be something more next to the bathtub or like in a small bathroom. So, but I'm, I want to show y'all what I've been working on over here. Um, so I'm kind of putting together and if this is backwards, I apologize. So this is my grandmother's spice rack. It was originally green. Then I turned it like a teal and now it's white and kind of distressed. And I always keep jars on hand. So I thought with my home sign, my aunt Barb gave me comes. You could change these out with the season. Some greenery from Hobby Lobby. I got on clearance. My little jars. My grandmother's salt and pepper shakers. And then these are acrylic drawers from the Dollar Tree, and ferns from the Dollar Tree. And I put just put that in as like a little greenery touch. And then I pulled the tops off of these Hobby Lobby berry stems and just lay those up there. They can pop right back on and so can the ferns. They'll pop right back on to the stems. And this is where that blue and white candle is going to go that I showed y'all in the background. And then of course I got a little red one. This is one of those watermelon ones from the Dollar Tree. But I had to show y'all that because I am decorating for um, 4th of July. Okay, so... um. Anyway, let's get into this little haul. So the first thing that I'm going to start with is, and I got picked up some things today to finish my um, little niece and nephew's back. So the first one is my niece's, who's nine, and hers is all purple and green themed. This is not a Juncture brand bag. It's one of the older bags. Um... It was just in a store that had an abundance of bags. So since it has the purple and the green on it, I of course picked that up to she can keep all this stuff in. 
I'm gonna have to put this in the seat. Okay. So, all right. So these clipboards you can get at the Dollar Tree. I actually had them left over for my wedding for some coloring kits for the small kids. Um, but you can get the exact same ones at the Dollar Tree. So I included a clipboard in hers. It just makes it easy. And so going with the green and purple theme. And I know that y'all may have seen a good, maybe a good chunk of this stuff on a haul video. Because I kind of blazed through it really fast. But I wanted to kind of show y'all like the completion of my idea coming to fruition. So that's what I'm doing today. So the clipboard... And then the green color by number book. And these are really cool. These have really nice pages in it. They are only one sided. And it's one of those things you do not know what the picture is until you're done or part way done. So, um, yeah. So there's a green. And then purple, I got her the Kaleidoscope purple cover coloring book and it comes with these really cool designed pages and this is one of those things that's going to keep her occupied and they are oh they're perforated pages so you can take them out frame them hang them up whatever so there are i don't know how many but this is normally a three dollar and 95 cents coloring book for the kaleidoscope one and not sure about this color by number one and these are oh, these are both like name brand coloring books the quality of this paper is kind of like a nicer newspaper so it's not as high quality as the other one um i showed y'all these and told y'all my sister was going to appreciate me giving these lisa frank stickers to my niece there are 600 stickers in these, and I even hauled these previously for myself. Um, and I have them decorating my planner right now because they just make me happy when I see um, all these bright colors in my planner. So I got the, her those. And then also a purple journal that comes with these little um, iridescent stickers. And the cool thing about this is purple. Okay, and it's not spiral. It's a nice bound one. And the lines on these pages are actually purple as well. And this is a green briar product. But I just thought this was really cool. She gets the stickers and then she has the Lisa Frank stickers and then her journal. So she can kind of, you know, put down her thoughts and feelings while she's moving. And then to go with that... I got her this little purple and cream cosmetic bag. They were in the same section as these notebooks. They had um, like four different color sets. And so in this, I picked up a green pencil sharpener. And the cool thing about these is um, these were the Jot brand. So these come in a two pack. So I have one for my kids as well because it's like they always lose them. And then to fit in that small bag, I got her, just because traveling, you don't want to carry anything big. So I got her a pack of the Pastel Crayola colored pencils, and it comes with eight. And then eight of the original colored pencils. And so those are those mini ones. And then also this Pentel, so name brand, Pentel Quick Drying Ink, Violet Ink. And it is a purple pen as well. And so she can use that in her purple journal. So I thought she's set with the coloring. And then she's got her green to go with the purple and green theme. Pencil sharpener. So keep the, everything like that. And then tissues. Um, I know whenever I'm traveling, like things are either dry or when it's raining, like it just, you know, and it's, they're going to be moving during the summer. And so I picked up a purple pack and a green pack. These came in a three pack at the Dollar Tree. So picked up those to go in her little kit. And then, um, let's see. 
So now we're on to like the drinks and snacks. So I'm gonna kind of get the heavier ones out. So they drink a ton of water in their house. My sister is like way better at the hydration game than I am because I am like a Diet Coke freak. Like I love Diet Coke, that's my thing. And I also like, what is it? It's, they're so bad for you. The um, Monster Energy, what is it? The Pacific Cooler or something that has like the pirate, it's like a tan can with like the pirate theme on the outside. I work third shift y'all I don't drink coffee um, I do drink a good amount of water I could totally drink more but anyway like diet coke and those like get me through work but I picked up these and these were of course at the Dollar Tree these are zero sugar electrolytes propel and I got her the grape flavored water because it's purple and then I also picked her up the kiwi strawberry which is green so, and I know that, um, like, if for some reason she doesn't like a flavor, so our family, we were just so picky, so <laughs> you never know if someone's going to like something, but um, I thought these would be great because they have the sport spout, and I see a lot of the twist, just the twist caps, um, but for kids and traveling and things, I really like the sport spouts for them. Um, it's just a lot less mess. If they get left open and fall over, they don't leak like a twist off top would. So I'm going to put some of this stuff back in and keep going with her snack stuff. So there's her like activity things um, and things that she can do to kind of like break up some things. And I think my sister has like tablets for them, not 100%. So getting into the snacks. So the snacks I stuck with... um pretty much like a purple as much as I could have purple and green theme so I picked her up these gif to go chocolate silk and there's three in these and they're three one and a half ounce cups and my daughter absolutely loves these and I had her come with me to pick out the dippers for it and we I recently hauled these in like a big bag but I saw them in the individual and they normally come in a six pack, but at the Dollar Tree that I went to today, they actually had an eight pack of these teddy bear cookies. So these are like those sugar cookie flavored ones with the little bit of sprinkles in it. And I can't eat these, but my daughter said that they taste kind of like a sugar cookie. So I thought with those, so I'm going to split them up between, um, my niece and my nephew kind of split these up and they keep a couple at home. So I'll probably give them her a pack for each one of these. And then um, we still have five packs left so I can give her little brother some too. So I um, got that. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in here. Because I'm putting them in a box to take to my sister's house once I get like the last thing. And... Um, Oh my gosh, they come in like sheets like this. <gasps> what? I hope I don't mess these up. Because <gasps> you know, like sometimes it will open the bag a little bit. Okay, good. I am not the best at tearing things. So I probably should not, I should probably cut these. I'm going to cut these because I already popped one. So that, my kids went. Um, I also picked her up these original, I loved these when I was a kid. freaking love these things. And I can't eat them anymore because I'm gluten free and it's not by choice, it's mandated by the doctor. Okay. Um, Mother's, the original Circus Animal Cookies, it's the frosted ones with the sprinkles, and I know it's mostly pink, but let's be honest, like, okay. You know, sometimes, like, moms, we just need to, like, bribe our kids with stuff. 
So it's one of those things my sister can go through these bags and like bribe. Bribe her with. If you just sit down and watch this, then you can have these animal cookies. Okay, because that's how I am. My sister though, let me brag on my sister for a minute. My older sister is a stay-at-home mom. She does a ton of philanthropic work. She does a ton of stuff with the Down Syndrome Network here in North Carolina. Um, her younger son has Down Syndrome and God definitely put the right mama in that family. My sister is so patient. She's so like full of grace that like I can't even imagine being that person. Like I'm I'm literally I'm the mom that has a sign above her entryway closet that says welcome to the shit show. Shit show. That's the kind of mom that I am. I'm the kind of the mom that like I probably shouldn't cuss as much as I do, but my sister is just so like all right. Okay. And figures it out. Like she's just so graceful with everything that she does and so maybe she'll see this um I've told her that before like I I'm just not that mom I'm not that like I'm a hot mess mom and I am totally like totally fine with that and I'm organized I plan like a mother and but um I am not full of grace and my sister definitely is I am working on it because we're all works in progress but my sister God definitely blessed her with um, the gift of grace. So, anyway, Megan, if you're watching, I love you. Okay, <laughs> so moving on to the last couple little treats that I got. Um, my niece, I had previously hauled her some grape gum, and then I was like, oh crap, she just got some braces on, some partial braces. But I did get this. This is mother approved by her mom. The purple Skittles. Okay, purple theme purple skittles so those were approved by mom and then one thing that um is like allergen basically allergen free are these original sixlets chocolatey candy and they're like the packaging is pretty purple so um yeah so this is another thing like megan if you're watching this totally like use it take it out to bribe your kids with like totally fine with so I am not only helping my niece and nephew stay like active in the car, but I'm also giving my sister like plenty of ammunition in the bribing department. So watching out for my fellow mama. So <laughs> I know how it is. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to my nephew's gift bag and his gift bag is Toy Story themed and because like you can't I can't find a lot of candy drinks and things like that at the Dollar Tree because I wanted it to be from the Dollar Tree as much as possible so I stuck with since um, Toy Story has a lot of primary colors in it I kind of stuck with some primary colored objects so grab his bag and I picked him up kind of this mesh long tote so this is really really long what I the reason I picked this type of bag up instead of just like a basic bag like I got Charlotte. Charlotte can fully manage her bag and anything extra that she wants to put in, there's plenty of room in. Um, what I thought about for this was that this would be long enough to hang over the headrest that he sits in front of. So he has, you know, the front facing seat and then um, this could sit on the um, hook over the headrest so it's not flopping around all over the floor and people can easily slide stuff in and out because even though some of this stuff is bigger, if you see, like you can pull it out and stick it back in there. Um, and then two, if anything spills on this, it's so easy to clean. So um, I'm gonna start with kind of like his activity stuff and kind of like work my way through to the food part. So I included him a little clipboard too. I know that Big Sis will help him with this, setting this up, because I picked up this eight pack of velvet posters and what this kind of like 
these are kind of nice for especially like new color you know people new into the coloring um because it's really hard to like mess it up as far as you still have the main outline of the picture so even if they go crazy with the markers what I like about these is you basically get the general idea of what the hell the picture is. Excuse me, I'm a cusser. I should not do that. But um, it happened. Okay. So, a pack of that. Then I found this Toy Story 4. It has 250 plus stickers. And I apologize, Megan. Um, but I highly encourage him to decorate his clipboard. That's why I gave a blank clipboard. I thought this would be great. He can stick them all over his clipboard. He can stick them on the back of the velvet posters and then a couple other things that I have coming up. But it comes with all of these. And the cool thing about this book, look, there's scenes. And this, um, the type of material this paper is, is kind of like the slick side of a poster board. And look, there's more scenes. So he can kind of like stick them on and peel them off and reuse them to make different scenes. And he can also decorate his um, clipboard. Same with um, the older one. She can decorate her clipboard with the Lisa Frank. And then I got this Jumbo Coloring Activity Book. So, um, it comes with just a ton, 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 ton of little activities. And I thought this was great too because that's something that um, him and Big Sis can do together. And then it even comes with this little cutout figurine that comes with a stand. And you can stand these little suckers up so we can cut those out. And then I got, and I haven't taken these out of the package yet. I'm going to, since I'm once I'm done like filming this um but I got this is a grain buyer product actually and this is the Toy Story 4 crowns and it a 24 pack of crowns and let's be honest these crowns may not be like awesome like the Crayola brand but um that's fine they're still gonna color and then I got the little pencil pencil case here to um put these in so I'm going to put those in there it's just the box doesn't fit in there and then I also picked him up his own tissues too and of course I found Toy Story and again all of this came from the Dollar Tree so um if you're traveling like a good chunk of distance or even just putting together like busy bags to keep in your car um dollar tree with the clipboards and the posters coloring books the different themes that you can do for each one of your kids color themes character themes and things like that i mean you can totally go like all in on something and you're really not spending that much money because right now just for his all together it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven basically eleven and a half because I'm putting some of those teddy cookies in there so eleven and a half bucks in the bag so twelve fifty twelve fifty for his whole thing and I got a bonus thing for him too so y'all are gonna see that it's something I actually made with Dollar Tree products that cost me seven dollars so anyway, let's get to his snacks. Going with the primary colors, I got the Welch's fruit, Mixed Fruit Snacks. You get four packs in here. It's not bad. I just like that it's a small box. There's not a ton of them. Um, kids, when it comes to fruit snacks, are like freaking gremlins. So they eat like a ton of them. So four pack of these, great. Another thing, Megan, bri bribery thing. And then primary colors, again, goldfish, rainbows. Or colors M&M's and I recently had bought a pack and then I had to buy another one because my three-year-old got a hold of them and then I picked him up some juicy juices apple juice so just a four pack of these um, and the apple juice for him I hated that I couldn't like really find anything Toy Story themed, but we're still sticking with the primary colors because we've got the blue, the red, and the green on the box. 
So that's his, and he's gonna get some of these um, Teddy Graham cookies as well, and then that evens out how much of each snack that they have. So I'm gonna put this back in here for him. And then I'm going to show y'all this like extra little car activity, <clears throat> excuse me, that I made because I had recently, not recently, but a while back and I had showed them in a haul that I did um, probably like over a month ago maybe um, of these Toy Story figurines and I also got like the Jurassic Park ones too. They came in like four different ones. That's all I could find. So you got Rex, um, Buzz Lightyear, Bo Peep, and Woody. And at first I didn't know what I was going to do with them. Like I said, I was thinking about saving them, um, for like you know cake toppers cupcake toppers things like that i could give to my sister for his next birthday but then when i found that they were moving i was like i can so make like an activity out of this so at dollar tree y'all know that they sell all different types of stickers they sell cake pans a little like small ones and big ones um they sell magnets so if y'all know what I'm going with with this. So, and my handwriting's not great, but you know what? This thing might get, like, just in one dry might get beat up. So, what I did is I took a cake pan, and I took some outer space stickers, and I made, like, a little border, because I thought that would go along well with Buzz. So, you can see those. I did just, like, four on each side. And this is the square cake pan from Dollar Tree. And then just um, my little haphazard handwriting to infinity and beyond. And then you can get magnets, I think, and like a little 14 pack, the little circular ones in a 14 pack. Um, they're the Dollar Tree in the Crafter Square. So I put a little magnet on each one of the characters. So that my nephew could put this in his lap and play with all his favorite characters. He can slide them around, um, put them up here, take them on a little space adventure. But this way they can kind of like um, just stay in one spot and then to slide it down in his bag, we can just kind of stick them like this. So they're not sticking out and they will stay I mean of course if he threw it they're gonna fly but for the most part they'll stay and I can slide this right down into his little busy bag for the car and then again this again seven dollars because the stickers each one of the figurines are sold separate um, the cake pan and then the magnets so seven dollars all together and you have a little car activity so I've seen a lot of people hauling these little figurines and so if you're looking for something to do with them besides a cake topper or just collecting them and you're wanting to make your kids acti an activity, sheet pan they have the sheet pans and everything. Y'all can make little um, mazes on there. These are great for motor skills because um, they they're sliding them through um, like little roadways. Some may have to twist. Maybe you put down like some little pipe cleaners. They have to kind of lift and jump them over. But the magnets overall are great because you can just keep it stuck on there. So that's my like little bonus thing that I did for my nephew. And um, only $7. Great little activity. Just, um, I've just, again, I've seen so many people hauling these little figurines. And I was like, what can I do with this that can be great for motor skills but so fun with these cool little characters and I, so my son has the little jurassic park figurines like the toy story ones um i got all four of them and he just plays with them in general but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to get one of the dollar tree sheet pans 
and make one of those little obstacle courses and like jungles or something with some greenery. I've got some ferns, so maybe I could hot glue that and they can kind of like go around in the jungle or something and just make a little fun little scene. Um, plus he likes jumping things over stuff so I can make little logs out of pipe cleaners things like that I mean just get creative but this like this little small one and they have circular one too these are great for travel and then adding those magnets on them one kids freaking love magnets and two like this keeps it contained and then if you don't want to stick them up you just slide stick them to the side slide it in a bag and you're good to go so now we're going to get into um, two little smaller things that I'm doing. So I am making for my sister and her daughter a mommy daughter spa kit. So um, let's see. I recently hauled this for myself and absolutely freaking loved it. This is Spa Naturals Luxury Collection Bath Soak Moisturizing Avocado Oil. Okay, so it doesn't have much of a scent. It's a very, very clean smelling. It's not perfumey at all. So if you're sensitive to stuff like that, nothing at all. It feels so good. It makes the water super soft. It just, I literally, it does, like it definitely does moisturize. And I've tried a couple other like Epsom salts or bath soaks and things like that from Dollar Tree. And they're okay, but I haven't absolutely loved them. But this one right here, I absolutely freaking love. And I thought that this would be a great thing to get for my sister um, and her daughter to kind of do like a little luxury bath soak. So that's in their little kit. I just put it in a reusable little gift bag. Um, I These are not from Dollar Tree. These are actually from pop shelf these are the new pour brand and so i added these and i had hauled these a while back um be sure to check out my shop with me video there um i'll try to link all that below but i got the girls night in which is an infused with cucumber essence and then i added in the infused with green tea essence so I thought these were a good, like very soothing, very calming, non-perfumey things. And then adding with another like really nice natural scent I thought would be really nice. And then to go to hold their hair back for their um, face mask, I got them matching tie-dye headbands. So this is just the Dollar General Greenbrier brand. Um, but I thought these were great because these are going to be super easy to clean off. Not that the sheet mask will leave anything, but if they ever wanted to do another one. And then it's kind of like a mommy daughter, like matching tie dye. So I thought they would have like a lot of fun with that, doing that together. And then I also picked them up, um, these hot cold iPads. And I showed y'all these before too, but I just, I kind of wanted to just show like, how how I'm putting everything together so this is going to be a little gift bag like and I'm going to kind of like put a little note on the outside that after the stress of moving make sure you take time to pamper the females or pamper the girls have a girls pamper night whatever something like that so I got the donuts for my niece these are a green buyer brand as well it's that April bath and shower brand and I've also seen people, since I had um, picked them up, people have been finding them too. They had some really pretty like Mother's Day print with like a purpley pink one. Um, but um, yeah, the donut ones are so freaking cute. And then I got my sister the kiwi ones. So if y'all have ever moved with kids, and I'm sure there are like plenty of people out there that have moved with kids and... Um, I've moved with kids, but not a long distance move, but, um, traveling wise, I have traveled with kids, not even that far of a distance, like probably the farthest we've driven with our kids was probably like two and a half hours, three, if you count the potty breaks. And that would be my fault because I have to pee the most out of everybody. But, um, 
you know that it's like one it's stressful you're moving okay like that's stressful enough like oh my goodness but moving with kids and having to help like keep them calm it, i mean that is a freaking lot so um <laughs> I got these for my brother-in-law <laughs> and I'm going to be adding something special for him and my sister. Um, but, um, <laughs> I picked him up some earplugs. <laughs> my sister, you can totally use these too. Like these are not just his. I mean, there are four pairs of earplugs in here. So there's two each. So brother-in-law do not get stingy with the earplugs but I am gonna make like a parent survival kit and it's gonna be um there's two things that I cannot buy at Dollar Tree and that's alcohol so I am putting to get some earplugs and a six pack of like beer that my brother-in-law really likes and a bottle of wine for my sister <laughs> I just thought that um they can plug these in Megan and her daughter can do their spa stuff or Megan can do it completely by herself in the bathtub and have her little kiwi pads on, her face mask on, her awesome tie-dye headband, soak it in the bath salt, put in her earplugs and drink in a glass of wine. <laughs> so um, that is all of the little travel kits um, moving gift kits because I'm not going to be able to really have anything there for them because I'm not up there but I wanted it to kind of give them something that was kind of like you think about all the like things that you have to do to pack um, to like snacks you have to get um, making sure like you get to whatever hotel you got to get to or I think they're doing a straight drive so getting driving straight there and figuring out what they're going to do for the night that is stressful enough so i wanted to kind of put together some little kits for my niece and nephew to keep them super occupied and super excited because like one giant freaking gift bag for them that just stuff keeps coming out and between all the other stuff that i'm sure that my sister will have prepared for them this will just definitely help and then having something that my sister can do by herself or with her daughter um, is super important. My niece is in that school age so that is so hard for kids to like leave friends and things so something that kind of like added to her my nephew's going to transition pretty well I think he um he's just super I think adaptable to certain things he's super sweet and then of course my um sister's husband is just leading the way on this and again both parents are so graceful but um but i i just thought you know when the shit hits the fan we could put these in and then you know that in the back there's a six pack and a bottle so as always y'all be organically you and um if you like what you saw here today make sure you hit that thumbs up and i hope to see y'all back in the next video bye